Hello, my name is Jim, otherwise known as Pen Sloth. Hello, my name is Rowena from Paper Plus Cloth. My name is Brian Holser of the Estabrook Pen Company. My name is Matthew from Matthews Nibworks. And we're here at Scriptus. We are here at Scriptus. And we're here at Scriptus. Hi, my name is Sean from London Penco, and we're here at Scriptus. And we're here at Scriptus. Why aren't you here? Hello, my name is Carrie Yeager, a.k.a. Fountain Pen Day. Hi, I'm Rosie, and I'm with Pens and Pints. And you're listening to the Gourmet Pens Club. And you are listening to Gourmet Pens, Pens Club. Club. Hello, you are listening to the Gourmet Pens Club podcast. This is a collective of creators and callings that bring us together. Here are your hosts, Aziza and Candice. Hey ho, that was fun, wasn't it? It certainly was. So that was our little special intro greeting because we were celebrating the Scriptus Pen Show on the weekend. And now Candace and I are recovering. <laughs> we are definitely recovering. It was a pretty busy weekend. Yeah. Yeah. It, um, it was a lot of fun and we would love to share a little recap with you. And on the weekend, there was also another event. So maybe we should start with the other event because that was the Saturday before Scriptus. So Aziza, that's the Wonder Pens event on Saturday night. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't make it and only because I was out of town and flying back at midnight, which is another reason why it was a busy and we are now recovering uh, day on Sunday. So but you went. You yes, went yes. So, yeah, you were at your real job. I was at my real <laughs> job. Maybe you could uh, let me know what I missed because we actually haven't even had a chance to catch up. So I don't know anything about the event yes. other than just Wonder Pens sponsored it. And I know that there was nib grinding to be had. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, let me let me give you the, the deets. So it was Wonder Pens and Estabrook had come in. They had a little setup and they were launching and showing off their new Camden, which was the Oktoberfest. Yes. And there was also nib grinding indeed. So Pactagon or Matthew Chen was there and his lovely mom. And they were doing hard work over in the corner. And there were also pretzels. So oh, I just feel like that's really important. The highlight. There were <laughs> soft pretzels like from a f freshly baked from the bakery. And they were delivered that day, that morning. And I possibly ate multiple of them. But I just felt like I should because they were sad the pretzels and the I mean the whole event was really to just get everybody together it's been a while since we've had anything happen like this in Canada and we're now getting back into the swing of things so Estabrook brought out all of their cool swag and the new pens and they also had I got a couple things like I got one of the candles which is just I just I like candles so I don't know I just wanted one and I got the B page holder oh the B yeah in the rose gold finish. Oh, nice. So I need I, to take a look at that. After. Yeah. So I will will post pictures or links in the show notes so you can check out the the goodies. But basically, it was just a, a fun event for people to come hang out and, and see Estabrook and get a nib ground and buy stuff at Wonder Pens, which is what I did. Was this at their main store? Right? This was not their main the, store. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, their um, studio shop is still not open yet. Okay. So all of the celebrations were happening at the main store. It was really cool because I had a couple friends come in from out of town and they all came over to the store and it was just, it was really fun to see everybody in person at a pen event again. And so I stayed there the whole time, the entire time. Yes, it was a long day, a long day of standing, which was a great idea, of course, to do right before Scriptus. <laughs> <laughs> which was another long day of standing. So I don't know. I rambled. Why don't you tell us a bit about how Scriptus went? So Scriptus was, it was, it was really, really great to see everyone. It was nice to have the show. So we mentioned this on a previous show, probably the last show, I think, that this is the first time that we've had Scriptus for two years now. And it was just really nice to see everyone. Now, it was 
really crowded and really packed. Um, as you know, Aziza, yes. you conscripted me to work your table yes. <laughs> for the Gourmet Pen Shop. Yes. So therefore, we were really, really busy at the table getting set up and quite busy doing that. So I didn't really get a chance to visit a lot of the tables, but I did, did get a chance to visit a few of them. I've mentioned before in previous episodes about um, how much I like to get my nibs ground. And if there is a Nibmeister on site, I like to take that opportunity to do that. And so with this show, um, there were three Nibmeisters. Um, there's Toronto Pen Company, Salmon, and I have many, 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 many nibs ground by him. There was JC from Nib Taylor. And as you mentioned, um, Pactagon, Matthew Chen was there. He was at Wonder Pens the night before, and then he came to script us. And uh, so because I've had many nibs ground by Salmon, I took this opportunity, and Salmon is local, I took this opportunity to get um, one ground by JC and one ground by Matthew. And when I say I had the opportunity to do that, I basically just dropped off the nib and have them do the work. And I went to pick it up and it was actually great because I didn't really have to sit and babysit the nib. So I was able to still continue working your table. So for me, it was it was a great opportunity to see people who stopped by the table. I helped you out on your stuff that you were selling. We were also selling some used pens. And it was just nice to see everyone again after, you know, a couple years. of year high, yeah, years. Yeah, years. Exactly. Yeah, it was. I, I agree. It was it was really nice to see everyone. It was slammed. I think... Uh, a friend of mine, Rachel, and I will post her script as recap. Uh, she did a nice little summary as uh, someone who's coming in from out of town to experience the show. And it's interesting that she said uh, she thought that maybe the reason the show was only a day long was because there wasn't a big enough crowd to support two days. And she says, wow, was I ever <laughs> wrong? Because truly, from the moment the doors open until probably 3.45 yeah, the show and the closing is four, four <laughs> it was insane. There was maybe a five minute lull at like 1.30, but it was very, very brief. It was a fantastic show, very busy. I think the organizers put a lot of work into the show because for us, this was my first time having a table. There were no major issues. Everything no. was- It ran smoothly. It, it went as smoothly as it could have gone. That's right. Uh, truly, it was a lovely experience and I really, <laughs> I went home and there was an after event at Hemingway's. I couldn't handle it. I just went home and I literally just passed out. I know. I think <laughs> <laughs> there were four of us at the tables, uh, at your tables. Yeah. And I think all four of us had the same reaction, right? We wanted yes. to go out. The The will was there to go and get together afterwards. Yeah. But we were just exhausted and decided to just kind of turn off the social media, turn off our phones and just... I just want to give a huge thank you to you, Candice, to our producer, Chi, and Simmer, who was working the table because you guys worked your buns off. And I could not have done that without you. I truly, it would have been a disaster without you. And you guys made everything run really well. So a huge thank you. And I don't like feelings, so we're going to move on from okay, that. Okay, we're going to move on. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh, okay. So, Aziza, I, uh, did you buy anything? Did you even get a chance to look around? I did not. I didn't even leave the table for a second. I just couldn't. This is true. Yes. And I, if anybody was able to, I mean, you you barely got away to drop off your nibs. So I, I just figured, you know what? I'm not going to be buying anything at this show, which is great. I don't need anything necessarily. Also, because possibly I had recently purchased something and I didn't need another thing that I didn't necessarily need, but just wanted because I saw it. But I am looking at what you're holding in your hand. So please tell me about it. Yes. So even though it was really busy before the show started, you had <laughs> me run an errand. Sorry. <laughs> and so this is your fault. <laughs> You had me run some blanks over to the very end of the room um, where Butterknife was and London Pen Company. They sat side by side. And of course, I had to say hi, right? Because that would be rude. So I said hi to Chris and hi to Sean. And I cast my eyes over their wares, so to speak. Scanned their wares, of I course. know, I know. And anyway, so one pen in particular, I really am on a sort of curating my collection mode and I'm really trying to 
really trying to have more outgoing pens than incoming pens. You notice I didn't say I'm really trying to not buy anything because I think I'm realistic. Yes, you're sensible. <laughs> I'm sensible. This. And and but anyway, I'm trying to have more out than in. And so I said I wasn't going to buy anything at Scriptus. But I did see this one pen and I think we can show it and show pictures in the show notes. It's yes. from London Pen Company and it's from an Omas material and it's Bologna di Magica. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's Close that's, that's what it is. And it's a beautiful sort of burgundy gray swirl with their white like veins. Veins, yeah. yeah. Although veins doesn't sound nice, but it's really, really pretty. And it's also much prettier in person because you can see the chatoyans yes um it's harder to capture in pictures but it's just really it really spoke to me i love the burgundy kind of dusky purple kind of look to it yes and uh the almost material just shines up really really nicely that looks fantastic yeah i'm i'm very very happy with it and i also have a yovo nib but it's a nib ground by pen realm so it has a almost a needle point on the regular with an architect on the reverse and I really like it. That I sounds, know you don't like needle points. That but sounds like mine and Chi's nightmare nib. Because that's right. She hates architects. And that's right. I and hate, hate needle points. Needle points. <laughs> and I love this. Anyway, that that's my purchase, and I feel that's very reasonable. It's re- I am I am patting myself on the back that I walked away with one because, because yeah because yeah. yeah I saw their tables yes and they were I mean I saw their tables in pictures and they were pretty enticing. I congratulate you. Good well, ma'am for thank just you. getting just one pen. Well, you know, I would congratulate myself as well, except yesterday was, we're recording this on November the 4th. 4th. Wait, 5th. 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 Yes. Be- oh, I see where you're going with Yes, this. because <laughs> yesterday was November the 4th, which was? Fountain Pen Day. That's right. Fountain it was pen the day. 11th year of Fountain Pen Day, which so is wild. That's, yeah, because I'm relatively new. I Maybe not relatively new, but certainly my first fountain pen day that I celebrated was, I think, back in 2017 or 18. I think you remember that when we, we yes. went to we went to dinner with a bunch of pen friends yeah. in Yorkville. But so I haven't been around since the very beginning. So what is. Wow. I have been here what since is, like day one. <laughs> that that makes me feel real ancient. You're, um, you're OG when it comes I'm to. I'm OG. Uh, well, what is fountain pen day? It was. It was started by Mr. Fountain Pen Day, who is actually Carrie, and Carrie now works at Kenro Industries. And the whole idea behind it was to have a day for us to celebrate pens, be, fountain pens, because he, I actually recently learned this. He said, hey, there's a pencil day. Why is there not a fountain pen day? Well, exactly. Right? Yeah. And, and he just... He just came up with this idea. He has put in a lot of his time, effort, uh, his own funds. Like he's the one who gets all the bookmarks. Uh, he got the logo done by Studio Temporary. Every year he makes tons of Fountain Pen Day swag. And now it is a huge event in the community. A lot of retailers have big sales or, you know, any sale. It, anything is exciting. And it is really just a day to honor your pens, celebrate pens if you feel like buying something you can you don't have to would you believe i didn't buy anything yesterday that's quite impressive so that's scriptus no purchase yeah and I'm found so pen day. <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> so good i think you got delivery of something recently didn't you um, maybe maybe okay. but did you do anything like did you celebrate like what did you were you working i i was working i was working at my real job unfortunately but oh. i did i did celebrate by i finished doing i've been working on a little this little doodle that has been taking me a while to do so maybe we can put it in the show notes yeah but it was one of these that took a lot of detail and i was really happy with the way it was turning out and i was just really enjoying using as indeed the day should be about, right? Yeah. Celebrating your pens. I was using my Mr. Cypress Rodden pen, the all Rodden pen. Oh, yes. That you almost made me sell. I, did, I just was trying to help you <laughs> curate, man. And um, I'm so glad I didn't because for a number of reasons, but it looks so darn good in pictures. Fair enough. And so I, um, I did spend part of the day finishing that. But yes, I did end up purchasing... A couple of things. Oh, see, hello, listeners. I was not <laughs> privy to this information at the she time. She was not. So was... I'm now learning about this. Yes, you are. So the first thing that I did buy, I was on the pen addict Slack and someone had a bunch of things for sale. And it's just just a nib, just a yo nib. And mm. it's a um, what I like to call the naked nibs, right? With no scrolling or anything. I I very much enjoy that unless it's 
a logo that I intentionally put You there. like them naked. I noted. like them naked, yes. <laughs> the crap pen people say, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I and it, somebody was just selling that uh, cursive italic, which I actually don't have very many cursive italics in my collection. And it was for a really good price. It was actually for the price of the nib. You get the grind. Nibs don't really count anyway. They don't count. Okay. They don't count. I like to, I, that's, I will subscribe to that so, theory. Yes, yes. Nibs don't really count. So I, I bought that, but I also did purchase the, the platinum president <gasps> pen that I showed you yes. earlier in the week. Yes. So this is a pen that is a collaboration between platinum and I think it's Fountain Pen Lounge. I have no idea who or what Fountain Pen Lounge is, but I just know We'll link to it. Yeah, we'll link to it. And it's their fourth anniversary and it's the pen that they did in collaboration with Platinum. And it's the new president, um, Fountain Pen. And it's um, really pretty, in my opinion, a dusky, I, I guess I have a palette, right? You it's do. a, a It's a dusky purple, almost like a matte finish it looks like. And it does look like there's some translucency to it. it has a gold nib, 18 karat gold nib. and uh, the stamping on the nib looks like it's a bottle of ink or something. It just, it's a nice little, it's That's a so nice, cute. yeah, it is. But, and it's a coarse nib. Okay. Done. Right. That's okay. It's a I'll coarse allow nib. It. So I am going to, I'll probably get a grind on it at some point, but that was my big purchase. I'll for allow it. Day. Congratulations. Thank you. That sounds very delightful. Very I look excited. forward to fondling it. Yes. Well, okay. I guess I will talk about my pen. I... Right, because you did, even though you didn't purchase anything yesterday or during Scriptus. I took delivery of it on the Friday before Scriptus. And because I was so frantically packing, I basically glanced at it, acknowledged that, oh, yes, this is the pen and put it away. And the pen is actually the Conid regular size bulk filler. This is the Antwerpen version, which means it has the red Juma cap and end. And remember we had a discussion about Conid? Well, the reason I really, one of the reasons I really like them is because of the ink capacity. But second is the nib options. And, and what I mean by that is I put a Mont Blanc 146 music nib on this pen. I think I'm going to have to put a picture so that you can all enjoy it with me. That's stunning. So yeah, so the music nib is from my Blanc 146. So Aziza, I am using your Conid which as you know, I'm probably not, I'm not a huge fan. It's not that it, they're okay. awful. It's just because I don't need that much ink, but this pen is really comfortable, first of all. Yes. Um, and even though it's red, red is not my color. Yep, yep. It's it's quite a striking, I, the, is this titanium? Yes. The trim is titanium. It's beautiful with the red. I liked it because also on the clip, the little Antwerp pen, it's the- That's their logo? That's the little logo. It's for, really nice. For pen world and it's really cute. And it's a diamond, isn't and it? it? Yes. I know. I mean, Which makes sense, Belgium. Yeah, but this, um, it's really beautiful. But I mean, the nib is fabulous. Yeah, right? of course. So this is, of course. Oh my God, this is fantastic. But I also like that it's very comfortable. It's super comfy. And actually with this nib on here, you'll be going through the sink in no time. Exactly. That's yeah. part of the reason I did it. Yeah. I mean, I have a lot of stacked nibs and ink guzzlers so i mean it for me it's very fitting which is why i like the opuses but do you do you have stack nibs that take is this a bock this is a bock yeah. yeah do you have stack nibs that take bock i do not but i can i pop them into the other collars okay into the jovo collar no bock collar the bock collar yes the, jovo the, to bock flexible nib factory bock yes. collar yeah and i also I, I typically use my stack nibs in my jovo custom pens yeah it's jovo Oh, oh my god. Oh, wait. Speaking of. Wow. Okay. This speaking goes of. Into babble, babble, babble. Babble. So I totally babble bombed Yovo. And now we're going to babble bomb a new word. And if you are new here, a babble bomb is where we have some sweet, innocent soul try to pronounce a word that we have selected that is pen related. Yeah. And today's word is related to the nib that I have on my conid because it comes from my Mont Blanc 146. And the word is M-E-I-S-T-E-R-S-T-U with an umlaut C-K. So we're going to have our producer's husband... No. pronounce this word let's enjoy i need you to read this and tell me what how you pronounce it and what language you think it is meister took uh german obviously i think meister yeah okay yeah all right so what's your can you say it one more time meister took meister took 
Meister Tuck. <laughs> Meister Tuck. Meister Tuck. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Kevin, for doing this for us. It's much appreciated, the, the Babel bombing. <laughs> and now we have Annabelle to pronounce it correctly for us. Annabelle is from Austria, but speaks German, so she has given us the correct pronunciation. Hi, this is Annabelle helping out again. And today's work translates into masterpiece. Here's how to say it. Meisterstück. 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 It sounds so lovely when she says it. I know she has such a lovely, like angelic tilt and that's, lilt. And that's Annabelle Hillier from yes, the Nibmeister from Applebaum. Yes, that is correct. And from Opus Cineris. Thank you, Annabelle. We are much obliged. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I enjoyed this one. I really like this word. I like Meisterstück. And sometimes I try to say it angrily. Meisterstück. Meisterstück. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. I'm terrible. I'm terrible with languages. I. People laugh at me. When I say people, I mean my daughter. Uh, well, that's laugh fair. Me, you forget who your daughter is sometimes. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, time for another story. Yes, we should tell that story. No. <laughs> it's so hilarious. You absolutely should. Okay, okay. So my daughter, who is art by TMB on Instagram, she dabbles in doing artwork. She will do sketching and painting on her iPad, and very proud of her. She's taught. She taught herself how to do all of this. And you and I were just messaging each other about everything in my defense. Yes, it was a very random mostly, conversation. Mostly pen related stuff, which is usually the way it goes. And then you said, uh, I said, oh, by the way, I commissioned Taylor to do an art piece of my friend's dog who recently died. And Candace says, I have no idea who Taylor is. Who's like, Taylor? She's like, who's Taylor? I <laughs> And then she says, she's thinking, so she says to me, like, the, the pens. I know. Like, Taylor Pen Company. Because and I was we sometimes like, will refer, we don't refer to Taylor Pen Company as TPC or any, we yes, just, you just call we them just Taylor. We just say Taylor. Yeah. Uh, but no, Candace thought. Of, and I thought for some reason you were saying something about commissioning them to put your friend's fair. dog on a nib. Because which is fair. I did that once, right? Not my dog, but a paw print. That but I, literally, she thought, who's Taylor? I did. I Anyway, we... This is probably funnier to us, but it was just <laughs> the way it happened was hilarious. And then the best part is she told Taylor about this and Taylor was like, I am the one child. <laughs> yes, I do. I only one have of the one. one child. It's well, one of one plus three dogs in my yeah, life. It's true. Now it's two dogs, it's but true. still it's, yeah. I do run through the names of my dogs before I hit Taylor. So <laughs> anyway, I really enjoyed the story and it just, it, I completely lost it when you told me this because the pen company came up first before your daughter, one of one. Right. So <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, where are we here? So we were talking about your purchases because you were so good, apparently. I was very good. At Scriptus Don't and not be buying jealous. anything and yes. not buying anything. Fountain Pen Day and yeah. then lo and behold, you produced a Conid. Yeah, that's true. But it was prior. Yes. Okay, that's fair. It was prior. That's, that's fair. And they're kind of my thing. And then you, so you got delivery of that Conid on the Friday before Scriptus, but that's also... Correct. You also revealed to me after the fact. On the same day, I received a wonderful, stunning gift. This is a River City Pen Company Westwood model. My favorite model from River uh, City. I agree. I agree. Mine too. And it is in the Lavender Sunset uh, Operex Opal, which is a like a magenta that sheens into green and blue turquoise it's it's wild it's really stunning i first when you see the blank it looks much more purple right so more, it does more blue purple as opposed to red purple yes yes and uh, we will put a picture in show notes because i have posted it on my instagram it is slightly translucent so you can see your nib through the cap just ever so slightly and rich did a fantastic job on it obviously it is really comfortable i haven't inked it yet because i don't know what to ink it with and also because there was scriptus and i had to survive scriptus before i could treat myself to inking it and then since surviving scriptus i've basically not really survived because i'm still recovering this is really stunning <laughs> so i have my paws on it now yeah and you may not get it back it's yeah it might happen i actually think i have one of these on on commission it's really stunning i would ink it with i have monteverdi purple which is this exact color i think i need something more exciting okay i think i need a purple with green sheen Ooh. yeah so dear sweet listeners if you have a suggestion for a purple with green sheen please hit me up we are gourmet pens club at gmail.com just so you know 
I, I would love to hear your suggestion. Anyway, okay. Uh, so Candace just tells me she's hungry. So that's all you get <laughs> for today's episode. I hope it has been absolutely delightful and has thrilled you and tickled your pickle. <laughs> What? Did you just come up with that? <laughs> no, I just tickle your pickle. I don't know. Isn't that a statement? Isn't that a? Isn't that a thing? I I don't know. Okay, well, in my world, who are it's your a friends? Thing. So yeah, who are my friends? There we go. Well, my friends are Candice, who is Inks and Anchors. <laughs> I'm Inks and Anchors on Instagram. <laughs> and thank you to our fantastic producer Chi, who is truly truly outstanding. And I'm Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. You can find me at Gourmet Pens, Gourmet Pen Shop, and we are the Gourmet Pens club podcast where you can reach out to us for suggestions for babble bombs or topics or and you can now find us on apple Podcasts. oh sizzling hot that's what we are we are now on apple podcasts as well as google and other things that i don't know podcasts very well but we're now on apple Podcasts. so yay Yay. now we're gonna go eat and celebrate surviving and play with pens so take care everybody thank you for listening bye Of course, I brought the pen that I... Show it to me. That I... Show me. No, this one I... (gasps) Oh, my. Oh, no, Daisy, you're going to... Daisy, you're going to walk. Oh, Daisy, don't walk on the cables. Honey. Don't. Just pick her. Oh, my gosh. Just pick her up. Just take her. Take her. Uh, Take her and hug her, and she will be... Daisy. Well, this is delightful, Candace. Isn't that nice? I. Daisy, go with Simi. Oh shit. That is, uh, yeah. Go with Simi. Oh, Daisy. 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 What is it called? Jellyfish glow. G- glow jelly glow. Oh, that's, glow glow that's jelly. That's the material I should put, a, put on my silver. Glow jelly. Okay, hang on. Oh, hang on. Man. Yeah, let's bring, pull out the uh, tailored. This is the jellyfish glow from Taylor. Dick reef likes? reef trio yeah. the reef trio yep that one yeah it like sounds like a guy who just like thought oh yeah this would be a cool name i didn't realize it was his last name no his name is jordan redmond his company his company is dangling Dang. and um there's another one called chaotic artworks and his hashtag is porn king so like pouring so oh, p-o-u-r-n king which i think is hilarious it is